When I was at GameSpot, somebody left me a comment that asked, if I don't like first person games, will I like VR? That question kind of blew my mind because I was thinking, well, do you like being places? VR doesn't feel like a first person game at all. What it does is it gives you a sense of presence or the feeling like you're somewhere that you're not. There's a chance you might have heard that term before, VR presence, but what is it exactly? It's kind of hard to describe if you've never experienced a compelling VR experience before. But before I attempt to, I'm going to have to explain how VR works. Having covered VR professionally for years, the truth is that there are a lot of people out there who believe VR is a gimmick like 3D TVs. While it's true that both mediums use stereoscopic 3D, the way they go about implementing them are fundamentally different. Unlike 3D movies, which are filmed or are pre-rendered, video games are rendered stereoscopically in real time. When you pair this with positional head tracking that allows you to look anywhere, I'm talking left, right, up and down, and even behind you in 360 degrees, it really does a great job at fooling our lizard brains into thinking that we're somewhere that we're not. While your VR rig has to re-render scenes every time you move your head to keep the consistent illusion that you're in a virtual world, it's able to do so within milliseconds. This delay is so minimal that it's imperceptible to the human eye. While this solves the visual problem that VR needs to overcome, what about the tactility aspect? The feeling that allows you to reach out and touch the world? That's where track controllers come into play. With peripherals like the Vive Wands or the Oculus Touch controllers, you'll not only be able to see objects in front of you, but you'll be able to reach out and grab them too. VR presence is bolstered by immersive, well-made experiences. Oftentimes, you'll momentarily forget that you're just standing in the living room. I can't overemphasize the number of times I've given a VR demo to someone, and they completely lose sense of where they are in relation to my living room. When you're playing a sci-fi game like Lone Echo, you really feel like you're floating in space. When you're shooting enemies in super hot VR, you really feel like you're in the matrix and can dodge bullets. Solving puzzles in form will make you feel like you're in another dark dimension. Almost all VR enthusiasts have felt presence at some point. You only need to look at people ignoring safety bounds and breaking flat screen TVs in VR as an example. This is why people fall when they try to lean on virtual tables. This is why people literally run head first into walls when they're playing a horror game. It can feel so real that it will trigger your fight or flight responses and make you feel like you're in real danger. Presence is really a new concept that most of us aren't used to. When I was explaining to a person that they needed to duck red laser walls in Beat Saber, they asked me what the duck button was. I had to explain to them that there was no duck button, they simply had to duck. Video games have made so many abstractions to mimic reality that it's become the social norm. But VR peels away those layers of abstractions. What helps to bolster the feeling of presence even further is multiplayer. Your mind is really able to accept your new reality if you're able to see a friend's avatar online engaging in the virtual world as you do. Suddenly, make-believe seems all the more real. You also both feel like you're really right next to each other, even though you could be hundreds of miles away. Perhaps where VR presence is strongest is within our memories. When you play a VR game and think back to your experience, you don't remember it like you were controlling an on-screen avatar or looking at a flat-screen TV. You simply remember being there. And that, my friends, is what VR presence is all about. If you thought this video was fun or informative, please hit that like button and share this video with someone who's never experienced VR before. I want to take this opportunity to thank all my patrons that made this video possible. I produce all my content and they're all crowdfunded. If you really want to see more high quality videos about VR, please consider donating to my Patreon. Thanks.